Kim, thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, the area that I thought I would focus on then is uh, around the government adoption of, of, of the cloud uh, technology. Uh, I too was very impressed with uh, the enthusiasm of Senator Coons and, uh, and Representative Matsui. I think they could have shared, they could have been a part of the commission because uh, the, the folks who worked on this uh, had a tremendous amount of passion about the potential of this technology and as a next stage, I think, in the evolution uh, of the way technology is going to be used in the future. Uh, there's just uh, there was a lot of uh, enthusiasm and excitement amongst the, the members of the, uh, the commission in putting this together. One of the areas that we explored is to look at whether there are uh, any kind of uh, uh, legal barriers or uh, cultural barriers to adoption of cloud technology with uh, the government, particularly the federal government. Uh, recommendations 11 and 12 focused on this. 11 looked at whether uh, there were any issues with respect to federal acquisition regulations. And, and in the interviews that we did with uh, federal executives, uh, no one noted that, that federal acquisition regulations were a barrier to their ability to adopt the tech cloud technology. So that we found uh, uh, encouraging that there wasn't something that had to change before this technology could be adopted. But where they did highlight areas of concern, and that is, is uh, around budget and how, how they handle uh, budgets uh, in, the, in the world where they're purchasing uh, services rather than necessarily purchasing uh, a technology or, or, or uh, things, uh, which, which in a lot of our industry, they're very used to going and buying things, but not necessarily services. And one of the challenges there was that as you move to this cloud model, it's a very significant business model disruption. It's a business model disruption for the government consumer as well as the, the provider of the service. And um, it requires you to think ahead uh, with respect to budgets. Uh, you may have had in the past a capital expense that now is going to turn into an operating expense, but you may not have planned for that early enough. And that creates some uh, challenges for an organization that wants to adopt this technology. So that, that was an area that we explored in the recommendations that we think that there needs to be some flexibility uh, with both Congress and OMB looking at what agencies are doing and they're, and they're encouraging them to use this uh, to provide some of that flexibility. The, um, the other element is, is the, the planning for this. So the cloud uh, technology is often offered either on a subscription basis or on a pay-as-you-go basis. And on a subscription basis, it's a little easier to predict what your costs are going to be but if you're consuming it on a pay-as-you-go uh, model, uh, there are some challenges in budgeting for that. And so that was another area that we think uh, there needs to be uh, some work in, in, uh, in, in uh, providing some flexibility. The, the key, I think the key element in a lot of this is that, that as the government begins to adopt these technologies, there has to be a willingness to accept that there's, there's going to be a learning process. Uh, it's going to stretch some of the thinking of folks in acquisition, and it's also going to stretch some of the traditional contractors that serve the federal government to rethink how they provide services. So it's a, it's a significant process, and I think iterating uh, along the way is going to be important. And in our uh, model, we talked a lot about uh, encouraging this kind of learning process and flexibility. The last element I want to focus on is incentives and, and whether there are uh, sufficient incentives in place to move. And I think one of the things that came out of the interviews is folks uh, within the federal government uh, the CIOs that we interviewed felt that the cost savings and the flexibility and the potential uh, agility in their business from moving to the cloud provided the necessary benefits. But they also know that this is a new technology. This is not something that's already uh, you know, fully baked. It's evolving. There are concerns about uh, security, which you'll hear about from, from uh, uh, my colleagues here on the, on the table. Some of those things are in the process of, uh, of being developed, and so there's a, somewhat of a, of a risk of moving to a new technology as there had been in previous uh, technology adoption. And so there was an expectation that both OMB and Congress uh, provide some you know, encouragement in terms of rewarding and recognizing people who are out taking some of those risks uh, and, and trying to provide more value to citizens at, at lower costs using these kinds of technologies. So, uh, one of the recommendations focused on, on providing that kind of recognition and also maybe some flexibility in terms of allowing agencies to take some of those savings and allowing those back into uh, additional technology capabilities. So those are a couple of the areas that, that I thought were very powerful and I think uh, the, the enthusiasm around this, um, I think generally folks feel that this is, is going to be uh, uh, sustaining uh, technology. Thank you so much. And Arafa